Whoa! <laughs> 
Kareem, it's Crane. Drop your weapon or you're dead. What the hell's your problem? This doesn't concern you. Sorry, Kareem, but Errol Asani is my concern. You're working for him? <laughs> you're a fool. I was his bodyguard, okay? After everything got fucked up and they built the wall, we got overrun. He got bitten on the leg. I took him to Randall, the only doctor I knew in the slums, and we cut it off. Clean. It was the only way. He would have turned if we hadn't done it. But the stubborn bastard never forgave us. So, we parted ways. So why are you trying to track him down now? Early on, the authorities evac'd all the political bigwigs out of the zone. Errol told us there was a chopper on the way to take us out with him. Then he got bitten. And with all the shit that happened after that, we missed the flight. But after you turned on the transmitter, we heard Errol asking for evac. And a couple of days ago, somebody responded. From outside. The old bastard's got a flight out, and I want a seat on it. Right, what about Rice? Does he care about this guy? Not a rat's ass. This was my business. I just want to get out of Haran. Yeah, well, looks like you won't be making that flight, huh? That had already dawned on me. But I'd like to walk out of here. Look, if I see you again, I'm gonna assume the worst. You got it? Fair enough. Good luck, Crane. You're going to need it.
Did you find them? Yeah, I did. Kareem's take on losing your leg was a bit different than yours. So, you talked to him. Edward was right. You do talk too much. You should leave the talking to people like me, and I'll leave the killing to people like you. However, Kareem was my bodyguard. He allowed me to get bitten, but I don't really blame him for that. Hey, he saved your life. By hacking off my leg? The morning I was bitten was the same day they began dropping suppressants. You understand? I told him the antigen drops would begin within hours. All they had to do was wait. Instead, he listened to that idiot Dr. 